Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to a very quick video where I'm going to be sharing with you my new and latest settings in Microsoft Flight Simulator and the NVIDIA control panel following my full reset to factory uh, settings of my PC where we reinstalled Windows. We have done a fresh installation of Microsoft Flight Simulator as over the last year or so it's kind of got bogged down, slowed down a little bit and of course update after update for Microsoft Flight Simulator does build up over time and we just suffered with a bit of poor performance ultimately resulting in quite a few crash to desktops if you have been watching any of my recent live streams now in order to get the lovely contrast between great frame rates and fantastic visuals I have spent quite a few hours literally going through tweaking different settings both in the simulator and the NVIDIA control panel and finally I am now happy following uh, my reinstallation and I must say just doing the reinstallation all on its own improved things dramatically now of course you may be looking at the top right hand corner and the FPS counter and thinking well actually this looks rather low well yes it does but I have always said when uh, anyone's asked me this on live streams and on in the comments section um, I don't need 60 FPS I'm quite happy with anything around the 25 and 30 mark and rather deliberately I have now got London Heathrow showing here with live traffic with VATSIM traffic I've literally turned everything on and it's also really poor weather down in Heathrow today so this is live weather this is essentially probably the worst weather and the biggest amount of traffic that I'm ever actually going to see the other thing that I have done as well is this traffic that you're seeing and the frame rates I'm getting now is after the simulator has been running for about 40 minutes now you know that over time the simulator loads in more and more objects and of course live traffic is important so quickly switching it on and then checking the FPS after the sim has been running five minutes gives you a little bit of a false perspective but as I say this has been going now for nearly three quarters of an hour and it's still running really nice all with the traffic still coming in and out and with some horrible rainstorms and visibility we all know that clouds really drag down those frame rates and they're still holding nice and steady and looking smooth enough for for me and the sim that's on the outside however here we can now see on the inside and again as long as I've got anywhere between 30 and 35 I'm more than happy and as you can see here sat on the ground uh, at London Heathrow in my EasyJet aircraft of course that would never happen in real life um, you can see everything is holding nice and true everything is nice and smooth and uh, yeah I'm, I'm really very very happy with this I'm going to clear the weather in a couple of minutes just to see how those frame rates improve and as you can see as I'm sat here we've also got rain coming in another big killer on uh, on frame rates but again with the settings that I'm about to show you you'll also see that you've got all these great uh, visuals not being compromised one of the other things that I'm going to quickly show you is flicking between camera views normally can cause one or two stutters but with these new settings you can see that it quite freely moves up and down from the different uh, passenger angle views very very nice and again great uh, great visuals on those as well so let's have a look at a worst case scenario which is here with the weather to a much better case scenario where we clear the skies and just see what happens to those frame rates so after a second or two we really start to see those shooting up and of course remembering that we're in quite a, a hefty part of the world here handcrafted London Heathrow available on the premium deluxe version of Microsoft Flight Simulator we can now see that it looks fantastic we've got loads of AIG models shown in as well there's uh, there's a rather lovely uh, LL livery tracking down there and we're still above 30 FPS which uh, which is great of course ordinarily you probably have a few clouds uh, clear skies um, unless you're flying with clear skies of course clear skies is not usually the norm so here we are holding around 35 36 fps let's just go ahead and uh, add some scattered clouds and see what impact that has so it was at about 35 uh, 36 to be honest after it settles down it actually hasn't had too much of an issue yes of course it's dropped frame rates but we expected that but nothing that is going to be too derogatory towards the performance everything's still panning around looking really great and we've got the london skyline as well showing in the distance so that draw distance is also having an effect 
The settings that I've got now, as you can see, still allow for some beautiful reflections and you can see the sun shining through into the flight deck. Now we've cleared that weather out and again, frame rates still holding nice and firm. Let's take the aircraft into the air then and that is of course where we will spend most of our time and we would expect much better frame rates once we are uh, above any clouds. So as we would expect we're just pushing almost towards uh, 40 there. I suspect perhaps if we had clear skies that would uh, indeed be the case. We've got good levels of detail as well shown down below. If you want to save some frame rates as well you can also turn off the fly plaid. You can ga gain one or two uh, frame rates by doing this as well if you fly on the fly by wires A32NX just as uh, you can also turn off the first officer's screens. You may have seen me do that on, uh, on the live streams as well. Looking fantastic above the clouds. So let's go ahead and show you what my new graphics settings are following Sim Update 7 and a fresh install of both Windows and the simulator. So I'm going to start with the NVIDIA control panel and when you open that up make sure you use the advanced 3D settings as you can see is uh, selected just here. Once you have done that head over and manage your 3D settings of course we want the program settings we want Microsoft Flight Simulator and you can now see all of my options selected down below. I'm not going to go through all of these and tell you exactly what each one does uh, probably because to be perfectly honest with you uh, I'm not entirely sure for uh, for a few of them but what I can do is tell you that sometimes the max frame rate some people will set this even though I currently do have this set in the simulator you'll see in a moment some people do set the max frame rates um, in the uh, in the 3d settings here just because it means that your graphics card is not working to full capacity all of the time so pause the video you can obviously screenshot these uh, these settings that I've got and then you can try and uh, implement those onto your own setup. Of course remembering everybody's setup hardware etc is different. These are just the settings that I found to work best in the NVIDIA control panel for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let's take a look at the settings within the simulator itself. So once again I'm not going to go through and explain each and every one of these but instead you can of course pause the video, take screenshots etc and try and mimic these in, uh, in your simulator setup. Just out of interest the render scaling which is quite nice when you're only playing on a 1080 display as I am, even knocking that up by 10 can cause you to lose up to 5 FPS or certainly that was what I found so for the time being I am just leaving that on, uh, on 100 but as we scroll down you'll see all of the settings that uh, I've got to be honest I could probably get away with increasing a few things like the objects level of detail uh, and terrain draw distance because they don't impact FPS too much but I'm really rather after stability and uh, general uh, general smoothness but there we are there is a list of everything and I would love to hear what you guys what results you guys get if you do copy these whether they've worked for you whether they haven't worked for you or whether you have some other tips as well uh, please do leave comments down below and let me know your experience hopefully these graphics settings will work out for you particularly if like me you are a mid-range PC remember my graphics card is only a GTX 1660 I do have 32 megabytes of RAM as well and we are on a Ryzen 5 3600 processor let me know how you get on down in the comments thank you so much for watching if you have found the video useful please hit that like button don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn on that notifications bell i look forward to hearing how you got on with these graphic settings and i shall see you all in the next video very soon bye bye for now